Well, welcome back to the Pig Trail. It is time for our recruiting report. Otis Kirk joining us right now to talk a little Arkansas football. Let's start this off with Brandon Frazier. He just narrowed down his top eight list. He's yeah. a tight end out of Texas, and Arkansas is in that top eight. Yeah, and they've got a really good chance of getting him. I, that, they're, going, uh, they're trying to sign two tight ends in this class, and I think Brandon will be one of them. And uh, they're uh, really – the kid is a very good athlete, plays basketball, you know, six seven, gives you a good target, someone for the quarterbacks to throw to, and uh, he would be an excellent get for Barry Liney and the offense over there. And uh, I think Arkansas is in good shape there. They're wanting to sign a couple of tight ends, and like I said, I think he'll be one of them. Well, Alan Horse, one of the other possible tight end yeah. targets for Arkansas? He was here uh, March the 9th as well. Uh, once again, from Texas, and uh, big target. Also, you know, very good basketball player. Guy that, uh, these are guys that are big targets. I think Horace is a guy that Arkansas is in his top three. And uh, there again, it wouldn't surprise me. Elijah Yelverton is in that from Bishop Dallas Bishop Dunn. But I really think if Arkansas signs two tight ends, it could very well be for Brendan and uh, Allen. I think those could be the two tight ends in this class. And that would be, if they can pull that off, yeah. that would be a great get. That wouldn't be good. That would be great. Well, on the defensive side, Chad Morris and his staff yeah. still targeting the state of Texas big time. We've oh, got yeah. Fritz Dorba, a defensive end. What can you tell us about yeah, him? Yeah, I, I tell you what, I saw, he was a junior this year. I saw him when he, all these kids are juniors we're talking about, but I saw him when he was a sophomore. And I thought he was the best sophomore defensive player that I saw all year. He was that good. He plays for Highland Park. Uh, you know, uh, Chandler Morris's teammate, John Stevens' teammate. There's some people, you know, he plays defensive end for the Scots, but there's some people projecting him play outside linebacker. It'll depend, kind of like we've talked about in the past with Keitrell Wallace and some of those kids, it may depend on how big Prince gets, but he can play. Believe me, you sign him, you find a place for him to play, and he can play probably any of those positions because what it is, it's, it gives you another long athletic player coming off the edge, and that's what Prince can do. I saw a lot of players last year when he was uh, in, in, in 18 in, or 17, and I thought he was the best sophomore defensive player I saw all year. Well, what about Ryan Watts? He's also another defensive guy, a defensive back. Yeah, Little Lamb, Texas. Another guy that it may be hard to get him. I mean, he's got he, – he narrowed his list down, and he's got several schools on it. Like He's got some good options like the rest of these kids do. But I, I just – you know, he's going to come on an official visit here on May the 3rd. Our, our Texas – Oklahoma, Texas A&M, some of those schools may be ahead of Arkansas right now, but that's where you that's where the official visit comes into play. You get him on campus, as they've said a million times, you know, if you get the kid on campus, you've got a chance. And that's what they're wanting to do with Ryan Watts. Just get him on campus, let him see what Arkansas is all about, and then you go, you take your chances from there. Well, Miles Slusher, a, a defensive back out of Oklahoma, yeah. he seems to have a, a lot of offers. <laughs> yeah, and he's been here several times, and he's from Broken Arrow, and uh, he's a four-star, and for some reason Oklahoma hasn't offered him, and I don't understand that <laughs> because he's got Alabama, Arkansas, Oklahoma State. Yeah. He narrowed his list down. The kid's a big-time player, mm -hmm. and uh, there may not be a better defensive player in the state of Oklahoma this year, and so I love the kid. He's been here several times. Uh, I, I, I think Arkansas's chances of getting him maybe not what they were a few months ago for whatever reason. Oklahoma State's making a lot of ground there. Texas A&M, mm -hmm. Oklahoma, uh, you know, uh, uh, Alabama I mentioned. But Arkansas is certainly in the mix. You know, if you can get him, you 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 love that because yeah. he, he's a kid that plays corner and could even move down to safety if you need him to. So Mark Smith, Barry Lunny, or Junior on him, and uh, they'll continue to be on him. Well, Otis, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate okay. it. Okay, thank you. We'll be back with more on the Pig Trail right after the break.